So, 2017, pretty much dead to us. So last year. But the next one, in a linear fashion, 2018, very much interested about that. So I've been thinking about some of the, the features of the web that are going to be sort of landing or discussed mm -hmm. around then. Uh, and I wanted to see if I could describe one of them to you in two minutes. And the thing All I'm right. going to describe to you is uh, flat map and flatten. What? Good question. Uh, these are methods that are going to go on arrays. Oh, this is like the, I think the array prototype hasn't been changed in a long, long time. So this would be the first new array prototype functions in a long time? Yeah, since we had things like uh, sum and find, find index. Oh, right. A few new things. Oh, right. Those are very new, yeah. Uh, but so what does flat map and like what, flatten? What is flatten? OK, flatten, if you have an array of arrays, it will go through it and just turn it into one long array, as if each array is concatenated. One together. level or will it recurse down? Ah, uh -huh. good question. One of the arguments is depth, which basically says how many times it will run that algorithm. Can I give infinite infinity as depth? That is a good question, of which I do not know the answer. <laughs> but that is that is a fun thing to look up. Flat map. What does flat, flat map do? What does flat map do? Um, it's do you know map? I know map. So you, you, you take you take an array and you apply a function to every element. Yes. And it will always produce an array the same length of, yeah. of the array you operate on. It'll be mm -hmm. a new array, but you can like you know change every item for another item. Yeah. Uh, so you can change DOM nodes for strings or, or whatever. Um, whereas reduce always takes you down to sort of like one element is the idea, take an array yeah. down to one element. Flat map lets you look at an item and you return an array of items. Oh, so it's like map and then flatten. Exactly. Hence the name flat map. Flat map. Yes, you've spotted the two words in there that join together to form what this does. But it's something that I found that I've, I've needed quite a bit. Yeah, like, like I usually use reduced, where, where I like push to my accumulator value. And it kind of feels like a hack using oh, reduce. It's so annoying to write. Right, exactly. So it's a way to remove all of the annoyance, and you just get to you know create an, an array of arbitrary length from an array of arbitrary length by returning extra array items. And that's stage three in TC39. I'm really looking forward to that. We're getting good at this. Yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Async iterators and generators. OK, now I'm aware of iterators. Okay. I'm aware of generators. Exactly. What you've done there is put the word async in front of them. And right, you're and that's to pretty pass much it. Off it. As a I new think thing. we're done.